art for me, it helps me um, feel like I'm here. My name is Rollo Pizarro. I am a painter. I can't picture my life without painting. I was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy when I was three years old. It makes your body really weak. Your brain is telling you to like to raise my arm or something and it can no longer do that. The less ability I've had to move, the smaller my pieces have gotten. It kind of makes me wonder how much longer I'll have to paint. It would be really neat to be comfortable while I'm working and not just be comfortable, but reach new spaces I've never been able to reach before. So it'd be really liberating. My name is Tony Long. I run the Fab Lab. It's a space where Northrop Grumman employees from all walks of company come in on their free time to make things and help other people learn. The Fab Lab to me is the, is the ultimate dream shop. So when we first got the idea to do this project, I sent out an email to all the members of the Fab Lab. We got 25 people who were solidly committed to help out Raul, somebody they'd never met. When Raul came here and shared his story with us, immediately when I heard about it, it was something that I was so drawn to. I can connect to the opportunity, and it's actually not one of our work projects. And that's so exciting. The goal of the project was to build some device that would allow Raul to continue painting. We got the teams together, and then we started brainstorming what exactly we were gonna do. And after we got some of our ideas, we all got together here and started building. We were able for the first time to really reach outside the boundaries of Northrop Grumman and deliver something to this incredible person. People just put all their heart into building these devices. Some of those people that came together to work on this project worked to help build the next great space telescope, the next generation fighter aircraft, and all kinds of other cool, innovative ideas. Their ability to take what they know from their day job and scale it down to the human scale is really just a, a perfect marriage of, of technology to, to human need. You're all, all right, so we're gonna try this first prototype. So we built three solutions for Raul. The first is a device that holds his arm up. Back, side to side. Good. Second device we built is kind of a sling device. So he has ways to increase his range of motion by reducing gravity. This is really, really smooth. And the third device that we have is a canvas positioner. He can control the position of the canvas and access any portion of that canvas at a time. I just want to move this thing around all day. Yes. This yeah, is so fun. Awesome. Raul, when he first saw these devices, was just totally overjoyed. And to see that look in his face, that just that's, that makes everything worth it. All right, you ready? Yes. Just snaps into place. There we go. Levitation. And we're off. This is awesome. <laughs> Can I use this? Yeah, it's yours. <laughs> like right now. Let's do it. Perfect. <laughs> Up and... Tony, uh, I think I will always see him as the person who kind of gave me back my art. Seeing strangers coming in on their free time, you know, just to help. It didn't just change my mind about art, it really change the way I think about, you know, what kindness really is. 
it just changed everything. Like I've got a new definition of connecting with, with the world really because I feel like anything can happen now. <laughs>